Good morning, team. This is Chaplain Newland, your never daunted Koa Shepherd, with your daily dose of spiritual resilience. It is Wednesday, March 25th at 1130 hours, and I'm here in my home. Just got off the command and staff conference call, and I wanted to share a quick spiritual fitness moment with you. So we are now at health condition protection level Charlie. This is day one of this virtual ministry response to the COVID-19 novel coronavirus. Remember, social distancing is real, but spiritual distancing is not authorized. I'd like to begin with a prayer. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. So in some Christian traditions today is the Feast of the Annunciation, the day that we remember the visitation of an angel to Mary, telling her that she was going to be the mother of Jesus Christ. Let me read a quick passage of scripture for you that contains this story. This is the Gospel of Luke, the first chapter, beginning at verse 26. The story goes like this. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he called to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God, and now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him to the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. So that's a story you might have heard before. It sounds a lot like a Christmas story, right? The beginning of the story of Jesus' birth. Uh, and if it doesn't sound like a Christmas story, it probably also sounds like a particularly Catholic kind of story. Um, the Virgin Mary is not super popular in most Christian churches, um, but this is a piece of a story that I wanted to share with you because it is a story about fear and anxiety. And there's a lot of fear and anxiety going around right now as we are dealing with this global pandemic. Think about this story from the perspective of Mary. She is a not yet married teenager who is just now learning that she is pregnant through no fault of her own and not by the man that she is hoping to marry. She is probably in a rather difficult position. And so I think about Mary in this context and I wonder you know, what does she think? She has two lines in this story. The first line after the angel appears to her, uh, and the angel, like most angels do, appears and says, be not afraid, which, um, you know, angels should probably not be showing up with giant sets of wings and glowing halos if they don't want people to be afraid, then they wouldn't have to say it every time, but they always do. At any rate, the angel tells Mary that she's going to have a child, and Mary's first response to the angel is, you know I'm a virgin, right? And I imagine in my heart that she's saying to this angel in polite ways, this is going to be a problem for me. You know, this is going to be a big problem. I can't just show up pregnant. My husband-to-be is going to have an issue with this. And the angel continues on and answers a question that Mary didn't even ask about how great her child was going to be, which hopefully was encouraging to her. And then at the end of the story, Mary tells the angel, yes. She goes from, this is going to be a huge problem to me, to, okay, I'm in. Um, and I, 
I've always respected that about Mary as a character in the Bible, um, her willingness to jump in on God's plan when she doesn't really know how it's going to work out or if it's going to work out. We are all caught uh, in this kind of fearful and anxious situation. And today, as we remember Mary, I would like for you to remember her as an example. Um, whether or not she is a part of your tradition, in this story, she represents the embracing of uncertainty and the striving forth uh, with the trust that she has. For her, it is a trust it God. Um, things are not ideal, um, but like Mary, God is with you. God is with all of us. And if you hang in there and jump on board, God's work in the world will come to pass and we will all get through this. Let me just close with a word of prayer. Gracious and loving God, we come before you this day in remembrance of your servant, Mary, who serves as an ideal for us in her willingness to go forth into the uncertain, to embrace the fear and the anxiety that she must have felt, and yet to continue on. Give us that grace, that strength, to embrace this time of concern and anxiety with a whole heart, with a trust in one another, and in your grace, that where we go, you might go with us, and that that destination might be in the end a place of hope, a place of trust, a place of rejoicing in the truthfulness of the world as you are calling it to be. Amen. All right, team, that was your never daunted spiritual fitness moment, and I'm Chaplain Newland, your Koa Shepherd. Until my next transmission, keep the faith, practice what you preach and care for those around you. Signing off.